It's a quick tutorial showing capture in above drop ceiling areas, complex areas. So as you can see, the uh, photo technician is right here with his head through a ceiling tile, the hand extended with the invisible uh, uh, stick here. The camera is where this um, shiny ball is. And you can see we pre-lit the area. It's best to pre-light the area um, so that we have consistent lighting. And turning on my pano bubble tool, you'll see the bubbles represent where each of those panos was taken. So really just sticking the hand through and taking as many pictures around this area to get a, a very nice full detailed capture. You can maybe take about 20 photographs in about a minute or two. You'll see there's clusters over under this ceiling tile and the same for some of the other areas. You can capture this entire space really, really quickly and efficiently um, and not have to remove too many tiles. So um, super valuable to be able to walk through a complex area like this and not have to have been crawling around here and um, you know capturing these uh, one by one um, in a kind of a difficult, tricky area. But now we can get in and around pipes and see, so you can see the arm just under the pipe. And now we have a nice photograph right in behind here. Uh, but again, using some nice lighting here to make sure that the area is well lit. And uh, yeah, that's uh, basically what we can see and navigate through here. Turned off my bubbles. You don't need to have them. They'll have the little icons here to be able to navigate from panel location to location without having the obstruction of those bubbles. But it's just giving that to you for effect here so you can see uh, what that looked like. But uh, pretty nice documentation and very, very quick and easy to do. And now you can still take measurements and annotations and notes and fully inspect the condition of these environments. This particular project is taken in a hospital. Uh, but yes, uh, pretty cool stuff. Thank you.